You ready? Because it's time. Your nuisance. Yo, what's going on everybody, it's Kai Rez and I am back again with y'all for another segment of Welcome to the Bay, let's go. First off, I just wanna say, I hope you guys are having a wonderful 4th of July, 2021. You know, it is beautiful weather out here in the Bay Area. It's not that hot, not that cold, just perfect temperature to have a good old barbecue and just chill with your family and friends and whatnot. All right, so you see the hat that I'm wearing in this video, you already know, man, what this jersey is about. And then also looking at the thumbnail, you know, this has been such a much anticipated jersey for myself and a lot of Niner fans worldwide. So, you know, when this jersey leaked images online a couple of months ago, it was rumored, everybody was saying that they were gonna do it. Then people were like, nah, that's not true. Until this, earlier this week, you know, they announced it online and I was like, yo, I don't care. They better make an authentic in this. And if they do put me down for a jersey or two or maybe three. <laughs> but I was so freaking stoked for this jersey and it came in really quick. I placed the order, I think Thursday evening and I got it on my doorstep today. So it came in right here, y'all. Shout outs to the 49er shop. And I am going to do an unbagging and review with y'all on my channel and in this video. So... With that being said, be careful with these. They're really sharp. We're going in. All right, y'all. And here we freaking go. <laughs> this has been a much anticipated jersey for those of y'all who are wondering. Nothing like a fresh new jersey out of a bag. <sighs> oh. Was that recording? All right, y'all. So here we go for the very first time in my hands. This is straight hot off the press. This is the Nike Elite Authentic George Kittle San Francisco 49ers throwback jersey right here. And this jersey, guys, is the new throwbacks that the 49ers are going to be wearing this upcoming NFL season. So my first initial thoughts looking at the jersey, I like it. You know, I really like it a lot. I finally have a George Kittle Authentic now in the collection. A lot of my other George Kittle jerseys that I shared with you guys on my channel. I don't know if you guys saw that video I did on my 49er collection, but all my Kittle jerseys were the unlimited Nike jerseys. So basically kind of like the replica versions, but I finally have an authentic because Nike was holding back for some odd reason. They tend to hold back on a lot of their jerseys with the authentics. I don't know why that is. You know, I think it's because they make more sales, I guess, from selling the you know replica versions and you know, us hardcore collectors, you know, we always try to get the authentic version, but I'm glad nonetheless that they finally decided to make this an authentic. I know that they released the white version, the white counterpart of this jersey, but they did not make it in an elite authentic, you know, so I'm finally excited that Nike and the 49ers decided to drop an authentic of this style right here. This is a beautiful jersey just in hand very very light guys very similar quality to the jimmy garoppolo elite that i did on my channel earlier last year so definitely check that one out so i'm going to go over a couple of things with you guys in this video first thing i'm going to go over the details of the jersey and then i'm also going to go over the sizing the fits and also the pricing the jersey's technology that nike now uses is called vapor knit technology and it's basically a uh, very breathable and just like supposed to absorb a lot of moisture from your body so obviously you know the athletes wear there's these types of jersey styles and the same technology to really just kind of help them when they're performing on the field. If you look closely on the neck collar, you see this right here. It's kind of got this mesh. They call this the chainmail mesh on the neck collar along with a rubberized NFL shield. Very glossy. It's got that metallic look as you see me just kind of moving my hands around it. Looking at the arm sleeves of the jersey, it's a very short. As you can see, it is cuffed, guys. That is supposed to mimic how the players actually wear them on the football field. You know, I know a lot of people have given me comments on my other video that I did on the elite authentic of Jimmy G's jersey and they don't like it you know a lot of people have commented that it looks weird it's just I don't like the way it fits you know personally for me I like it you know everybody has a different take 
on that feature of the jersey you know i guess i just like this new look you know it's something that's different you know it's not like your traditional football jerseys where they go like below your elbows and stuff like that so i personally dig it but you know you're gonna get that if you get the authentic elites you have laser hole preparations to give that extra breathability on the jersey you also have a laser cut satin twill jock tag as you can see right there it is a size 48 which is equivalent to a men's extra large be very careful guys when buying you know a lot of the newer nike jerseys from third party sites you know sites such as ebay mercari whatever because there are a lot of fakes that are floating around there are ways to spot real versus fake you know for the newer nike stuff so i'll probably do a video on that maybe in the near future or so you have stitch tackle tool numbers on the front as you can see right there there is double stitching now on the jersey because of the drop shadow and the white you have a tagless nike collar on the neck you know nike doesn't do that anymore where their jerseys have like a tag hanging out they discontinue that now and just have a collar that is just stitched onto the jersey you have what they call zone stretch fabric which gives that extra stretch to the jersey for comfort you have the three stripes that is printed on the arms of the jersey which is very traditional to the 49ers organization on the arm sleeves you also have an embroidered stitched on nike swoosh moving on the back of the jersey you have george kittle's name that is single stitch on the nameplate followed with the 85 on the back that is double stitched okay so now in terms of sizing now guys these jerseys do run a little bit slimmer than their older nike and older reebok stuff guys you know now nike is taking a new approach in terms of sizing a lot of their stuff is more fitted you know it's meant more for like an athletic cut if that makes any sense so you know if you have an athletic body you know i think this would really complement you but you know for big boys and stuff you definitely might want to go a size up from what you normally wear you know i could have done a 52 with this I, just, I don't know there's just something about me wanting to get a 48 for these nike jerseys because i i like the fitted look for these newer nike style jerseys now the pricing for the elite authentics is pretty expensive guys this retailed for 325 dollars i know that is very very steep but you know there are collectors out there like myself that will be willing to dish out that kind of cash you know but i was actually very shocked that the unlimited replica versions actually sold out quicker than the authentics you know the authentics i believe they still have a full size run on their website so you know i understand because people are not really willing to dish out full price for you know a jersey with this caliber or magnitude of pricing so i totally get it i know a lot of people would not spend over 200 dollars on a jersey so 300 plus is definitely pushing it my final thoughts on the jersey i love it there is however one thing that is really irking me right now and that's not having the 75th diamond patch on the freaking jersey i don't know why nike did this but on all of the unlimited replica versions of the 49er throwbacks they added that 75th diamond anniversary patch that the 49ers are going to be wearing for this upcoming season but they did put it on the elite authentics which makes no sense to me because the elite authentics are what the players actually wear on the field you know what i'm saying so it doesn't make sense for them to not put it on the authentic quality of the jersey that really pissed me off i mean it's a simple fix you know you could just buy the patch and slap it on yourself maybe get a tailor to sew it on the jersey but why would you charge somebody so much for that and then take that feature out to me that just makes no sense you're gonna put it on the replicas but you're not gonna put it on the authentics that's just being super cheap nike come on but i love the jersey style nonetheless i'm very excited for this upcoming season i can't wait to see the niners wear this on my television screen and also you know in person because i plan to do go to a game this upcoming season but that's gonna do it for me guys please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you think about nike and their approach doing these elite authentics and just kind of like you know holding back on us with stuff like the patch and all that stuff you know I, I would love to hear what you guys think about it you know for me you know i didn't like that they didn't do that you know that really ticked me off especially since we're paying you know a lot of money for these types of things but nonetheless i'd love to hear what you guys think and with that being said faithful i'm gonna head on out of here hope you guys enjoy this little review and let's go niners peace